good morning guys so, so today is saturday and i'm heading to meet my sisters we've been planning to meet for the last i think two weeks so we're just going to go um shopping a bit then we go for lunch and yeah that will be it so i'm just from taking a shower and i think uh part of my hair here is a bit wet let me just let me get ready oh my gosh i'm already late <laughs> and i want to pass by the car wash i thought i'll be leaving by 11 30 and it's 11 30. <laughs> i'm supposed to meet at um 12. so this is the outfit for the day <laughs> Uh, is this hair? I think I've clipped so much of that hair. Anyway, so this is the hot hey outfit. What is to do with my camber coming out anyway? <laughs> so I've just added uh, black sandals. Since I'll be, I've just added black sandals. Since I'll be, I'll be like, um, changing clothes. It's easier with sandals on than sneakers. And then I've changed to this bag. Because the dendry is too big for errands. So we stopped by spa to have some lunch. We are all craving onion rings and ribs. Also, if you're ever at spa, try out the Amarula hot chocolate. It's really nice. By the way, personally, I didn't manage to get any outfits for Saturday. I will have to come back during the weekday and check again, especially at our Waikiki. Counting up your sins, I keep a list and checking it twice. I know where you've been, I smell the sin, and you're looking nice. And I wanted to show you guys the new shampoos and conditioners that I got. They're from Cream of Nature. And then I've seen like they've gotten like new um stuff. So this is the Cream of Nature Pure Honey moisturizing dry defense shampoo so this one has pure honey rich coconut oil and creamy shea butter it's for dry and dehydrated hair and it doesn't have any sulfates or mineral oils so this is how it looks so this is the shampoo that i got i got another shampoo also cream of nature but this is aloe and black uh, castor oil i love black castor oil and argan oil i love those they, they do so well with my hair so this one is for weak, breakage prone and damaged hair and it has conditioning, alloy, Jamaican black castor oil, vitamin infused and it also doesn't have any sulfate, silicon, petroleum or mineral oils. So this is the other one that I got and the scent is also lovely. Not so much, this one not so much like this one. This one has a lovely um, ice cream kind of scent and then for a condition i also got a cream of nature one so this one is a moisturizing dry defense conditioner it has pure honey rich coconut oil cream and shea butter and then i got a leave-in also a cream of nature so this one has alloy and black castor oil it's for anti-breakage it's a leave-in for weak breakage prone damage hair again again no sulfates no minerals no nothing so this one I haven't touched the scent this one doesn't have much of a scent but anyway so before i hop into the shower i was just googling how to wash my wait adidas shoes they're not that dirty but i need to maintain um i want to maintain them so just googled on youtube on how to wash um like adidas and sneakers so let me just try out this trick that i've seen in a video here for six years ago and i've read the comments um for everyone it has turned out positive so let me just try it out then i will link the video in the description box in case um there's anyone interested so yeah because i went to cafe and i didn't find like a sneakers cleaner or something so i guess i'll have to use this method that i'm seeing here so i hope it doesn't damage my shoes so i'll let you guys know here to report it has worked oh nice 
so next week finally my son is turning six months so we are starting winning so i'm in the kitchen and i decided to wash all his new uh, utensils myself but first i had to clear out our, our dirty dishes that were in the sink So if you've been watching my vlogs, you, uh, you know I got him a couple of things. I already got him a feeding chair, a set of uh, plates and bibs, uh, spoons. So I also added a set of plates uh, that I all got from Portal Pharmacy. I'll show you guys in a bit. So basically I was advised to get him like his own cooking spoons because uh, muikos tend to absorb spices. So he needs his own plus also cooking pots which I bought. I got him his own dish rack too in white for obvious reasons. Reasons. Oh, and before we go any further, <laughs> I just wanted to give you guys an update on his pant leg. He's doing really, really good, by the way. It has dried up and he's not in any pain. Even during dressing of um, the wound, he doesn't feel any pain. He doesn't cry anymore. In fact, he uses that leg to kick me <laughs> on the boob during diaper chain. So it's safe to say the little guy is doing great. To be honest guys, I can't wait to start winning. This boy is going through both breast milk and formula at an alarming rate. We usually use the big uh, come and get formula, the one that goes for 4,000 uh, per week. So plus he's really been eyeing our food when we eat. So, but basically we're just starting with porridge for now. Then we'll move on to other foods later. Speaking of formula guys, I got a ton of questions about how we transitioned from breast milk to formula. It was really really hard. I'm not going to sugarcoat it for you guys. Um, a child who's used to breast milk and then you're transitioning into formula is usually very difficult. Um, it took like about I think a month for him to get used to, no two months for him to get used to formula. Like I said in my previous videos, he used to even uh, puke his meals. So we got him, uh, we started started with the regular after meal then when he started puking we went to the after meal anti-reflux um, so now when he got used to the taste of like formula we shifted to cow and get we, we realized he kind of likes cow and get better than after meal and cow and get is actually a bit lighter it has like the same texture um, like breast milk it's a bit lighter it's lighter like on breast milk uh, after meal is a bit heavier if you ask me so he actually prefers cow and get and yeah right now he's feeding perfectly he loves formula even better than breast milk right now so i got this um set of plates from portal pharmacy also so they come four of them and they are 1300 So I'm just going to wait for all this uh, to dry then I'm going to 
head out either to Kafo or House of Leather to look for a storage container to put all his dishes because right now I don't have any space in my kitchen counters. guys so <laughs> i look like i've shaved my hair <laughs> so i want to leave i had to come back home shower then i remembered the things i need to do today is a thursday i want to put this uh wig on so this is the hairband wigs that i got from glam by Evie. And she gifted me another bob one, a beautiful, not a full bob one. Um, that one I'll show you guys on Saturday. It's beautiful. It's really nice. So I've just been rocking my plain hair at work. So today I've decided let me uh, rock this one. Let me try it out. So I want to spray it. I'm using the TCB um, hairspray because it has like a bit of a car, like a factory scent to it it has like a scent that's bothering me so i needed to spray that on so this one is a band wig like me and putting on wigs So I want to go to Chandarana and get um, method cleaners. Um, I saw at Home by Carol's page. She posted that um, they are now in Chandarana. So I want to go grab, especially like the wood cleaner one. Um, it's really nice. Okay, I'm cleaning my chest of drugs here talking to you people. So like the wood cleaner is really nice. Um, so I want to try them out. I hope I get them in the um, Chandarala that is near to me. Because uh, there's no way I'm going to waste it right now. That one will be, will be just setting myself up for being stuck in traffic. And I'll reach uh, near late. So I'm just going to go to the local one. Hopefully I'll get those method cleaners there. I'm hoping. So um really loving this. Such a I'm going to go, I'm going to pass by to rivers um to see me vogue and get this hair band hair scarves because I've seen it looks really cute to the hair scarves. I don't know if Nani has them. If Glam by Ivy has them by any chance, I'm not sure. So yeah, I, I came home and washed my face. I'm feeling like my face is dry. I should probably even apply like sunscreen, but I'm coming back to shower, so there's no point. Yeah. So this is a full fit. See how cute this is. <laughs> I really love this dress. I think I've shown you guys this dress so many times um it's a thrift and i'm just wearing sneakers and yeah um this is my head towel <laughs> not wonder what that is so yeah let me head out hey so i have managed to get everything that i wanted um so the method uh cleaners are very expensive one bottle is going for 
uh, 1000 um, I think I just rather stick to my astonish and um, I bet they'll just do the same thing and astonish is also non-toxic I found amazing hair products i found a hair mask i've been looking for hair mask for a while so i think i've decided to take like my hair journey seriously so yeah in house of leather i found so many things i was going to get like a storage box for my son's um dishes um i went to look for like uh stuff to like storage containers to put his stuff in the fridge to put his uji flour um i just need his things to be separate from ours completely so i needed to stock up on all that on all of those things so i'm glad i actually got everything that i wanted in house of leather and more i wish i, I could like spend more <laughs> but yeah it was a successful drive um this way so let me go home um I, i'll have to use a shortcut because now it's rush hour I bought um, crackles to put in the cam and the nuts. Um, these are going to be like my snacks for the car because sometimes I usually leave work and I am super hungry and I still have to go uh, breastfeed immediately when I get home. So I needed to buy that and then I got myself a mocha. Uh, yesterday we barely slept at all, at all with my son. So like I said uh, before, I stopped by Waikiki again to try and look for some comfy outfits for Saturday. So I was aiming for a sweater dress uh, kind of look. So mostly, um, and I found cute ones that were on offer for only 990. This first one, uh, white one, and this next blue one. Uh, the middle one, I didn't take it because of obvious reasons. It was really, really short. Um, the last one was also on offer, but it was going for 2000 and 2700 which was still an offer from 3700 So I've washed um, the box and stored his utensils here. So here we have the plates, um, the other plate is there and the cups, they've all fitted very well there. So now, I made a mistake, so now I want to, this one can't stand, and then, by the this is a toolbox. <laughs> this is a toolbox. It's it's. Uh, I've just um, I saw it and thought it will fit like the items way better than just another um, box storage box. So on top. So this one goes on top here. Um, I've put his cooking spoon, his eating spoons, um, and the lids for the what are they called? And then it goes up there. And now let me put the lid on top and then here is the lid um, to cover everything so yeah it fits perfectly this was such a great idea <laughs> yeah so now um, the drain rack is empty so let me wash his bottles and I think I'll be done here so his um, sophorias will be on top of this so that um, they're just different from where we store the other one so that no one can confuse and cook with them. The other one is dirty, I want to wash it and then I'll put it on top there. So if you're looking for a good storage, I, I highly suggest getting this one from House of Leather. Like I said, it's a toolbox, but um, it served the purpose better than the other plastic ones. Added hair products that I've gotten from Chandarana. The same, same to um, Cream of Nature, but this time I've gotten a leave in that smells amazing. Ooh, it smells like bubble gum. 
so this one is a leave-in treatment uh, for damage prevention it also has pure honey coconut oil and shea butter and it's the akai berry one so this is how it looks I'm, told, I'm telling you guys i'm investing on my hair and then <laughs> um this is a hair mask i've really been looking for hair mask hair masks they really help but it doesn't have that much of a nice scent but eh, again this one is um conditioning alloy jamaican black castor oil vitamin infused so it has aloe and black castor oil um so this is the first hair mask that i got i got they have this such at once many of them but i wanted one that that's in a bottle because this one feels like um i think after opening it it will be really hard to store it so this one has pure honey rich coconut oil creamy shea butter plus yogurt it's also a cream of nature hair mask so this is the one that i will try out first because i have a feeling it smells amazing and it has like this part here for opening so when i wash my hair tomorrow i'm going to try this out plus the leave-in i also got um the cream of nature 24 hour nourishing cream oil it smells the same as the leave-in as the leave-in treatment so this one it's such the same ingredients um like the leave-in so this is how it looks so probably i'll give you guys a review on these products after like a month of so using them hey guys hope you've been well so today is friday and i just got home so i enter the estate and i just get the text that there's no formula in the house so i need to go back um and go to portal pharmacy it's at two rivers and get uh, formula and since i'm going out i've just remembered i don't have like cash cash so i need to to hit the atm and get cash for tomorrow's event because i don't like usually when i go for such events like when i used to go for koroga um it's usually easier when you have like cash on you uh it's easier to just buy stuff from vendors uh using cash because even in pesa sometimes you find like there's a huge line behind you and um pesa is just you know uh causing a huge queue behind you so um let me go hit the atm get formula and fuel this car um tomorrow morning i need to go to emos properties is lounging like a, um they're giving title deeds so you remember the title um the the, the shamba they gave me as a what is it called like a baby shower gift or something uh in malindi so they're issuing the titles tomorrow so to my day tomorrow will be absolutely packed 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 so i need to do all these things today it's actually a good thing that i haven't been able to enter the house so let me just go back and uh do all that big formula it uh hit the atm and let me then check how much i have I'll hit the ATM and I'll be done and then um, what else do I need to do I think I'm going to go to the car wash and have this car like washed outside and fuel it yeah so let me go I'm getting lost at <laughs> two rivers. I'm looking for the banking hall and I used the wrong lifts so <laughs> I, I should have used like the lifts for um, or a food court but I used the wrong one so I need to walk like to the other end um it's been a while since i used the banking halls for two rivers so let me see if i got the entrance right now the good thing is they mark the entrance they mark them um in the parking lot yeah i've seen the correct one it's been a while since i came to like the rooftop parking so the entrance are really confusing
got it, got it, got it. So I'm done. Um, I got the formula from Portal Pharmacy. I haven't even checked if they put for me the right one. Oh, now we are at Cowen Gate number two. Hey, you're growing. Uh, I just remembered my keys fell down. Let me sanitize them. My hands. I also got myself a peppermint mocha. It's been ages, guys. Ages since I had a peppermint mocha. So here it is. I even got a double. Uh. Mm. Oh, I've missed. I've missed peppermint mocha. If you're an OG in this page, you know about peppermint mocha. <laughs> so I want to challenge myself for the next um two months today is ninth so i want to challenge myself to not spend a single coin um because this like that like um the past two or three weeks i've spent shamelessly a lot of money and I was looking at my statement. I've actually been lo was looking at my statement like a few minutes ago, like my bank statement. And I was like, did I just spend that m amount of money in two weeks? And um, okay, some of it is legit um, uh, ways to spend money. <laughs> so I've decided for the next two months, I'm going to challenge myself and I'm not going to spend a coin unless it's I'm not going to spend money unless I'm buying groceries for the house um, apart from groceries what else let me just set the rules right now eh? <laughs> Ooh. I almost had an accident here so apart from groceries and i'm trying to think uh, exceptions groceries fuel parking those are the only exceptions i'm giving myself even groceries itself i'm going to do like a list at the end of the month and i'm going to do like a very strict list like i'm even going to tell my hubby to do that list my hubby is really good at um at uh, budgeting so i'm going to tell him to even write that grocery list <laughs> so apart from I, I want to challenge myself from the next two months i'm not going to spend my money on buying stuff for myself so let's just wait and see i want to see just how much i can save up if i spend my money well do you think we're going to pull that let's challenge ourselves let's challenge ourselves i've forgotten to fuel this car and only fuel at one petrol station i've forgotten okay i'll feel tomorrow as i head to the concert it's still okay yeah so i wanted to hook you up on uh, two pr gifts um i'm really excited about this one this one is from gift shop you guys remember gift shop she gifted me the gel pen set the one that come a hundred gel pens and a hundred refill up refillables <laughs> so she also gifted me a notebook it's like a it has vintage uh papers vintage like papers inside and it has my name uh branded there and then i like the way you just 
close it with this um car ribbon and it has this calif design so the thing that i love about this notebook is the inside um the fact that it has this like a brown vintage look uh paper inside it's really cute in the, and a bit unique so yeah she gifted me this one this one is from gift shop um i will link it in the description box down below and it comes with different colors i think there's pink and um red or red and okay i don't know just check the page you'll see the different colors that she has so this is a new favorite notebook that i've gotten so the other pr gift i got was from pazuri um yeah she's called pazuri fashions and she gifted me two scarves and one blanket one branded blanket so the scarves uh she gifted me was for this are uh, this um this is like a lovely silk ones if you guys know i mean like the scarf era <laughs> i'm in a face where all my outfits i'm like basically wearing them with scarf and then she also gifted me this heavy orange um it's like a two-sided it's orange and gray and this side is like more of the orange um so yeah and it's a bit big and warm it's actually really really warm so yeah she gifted me those two scarves plus a yellow blanket branded my nail uh, i love the way you guys are just gifting me yellow stuff <laughs> um so here is a yellow blankie it's really really warm these things have already been washed um so this one has been branded my name let me look for where the name is yeah here so she branded the blankets my name which is really cute so yeah i got them from pazuri and it's the same shop that i got the two handbags that i showed you guys in my last video um the pink one and the nude one the brown one um it's the same shop that i got those handbags from she has really nice uh, cute stuff you can check her page out so yeah i also got when i tell i'm not telling you guys like i'm not spending my money anymore <laughs> i know why i'm saying that because because i i bought um new bags three new bags <laughs> yeah i know don't don't say anything um i got three new bags uh from be your style it's called be you style yeah be you style ke i saw uh rodawa you are advertising them on ig so i checked their page and they had really nice cute like tote bags so i got three of them uh, this is the bag i was telling you guys from pazuri so um, I got this one. It's like a bucket bag. Very tiny, very cute. It has two side, a uh, grey and a uh, white side. I think I'll be rocking this tomorrow. And the strap is pink. I loved the whole colour uh, scheme. And the strap is pink. So inside is basically just uh, plain. But it has like a jute bag. Are they called jute bags? It has like a jute bag inside where you can um close your stuff in and it's removable actually the jute bag you can like uh, oh it has another car hand strap um you can put inside and carry it hey, i hadn't seen this one um so it has like the jute bag inside it's actually removable so this is how it is inside so this one this is my favorite it's really really cute and then i got another one i got this lovely uh, brown checked one um i've been loving this cup print of late even my clothes say it <laughs> um, so i also got this cup brown one um inside how does it it doesn't have a long strap so this is the maximum the straps uh go and then the last one that I got is this black one. Um, I really loved the handle, um, the design on the handle, the cut design on the handle. Yeah. So let me see. Let me just open. This one comes with a gold uh, long strap. So this is just how it looks inside. Really plain. Yeah. So this is the third one that I got. And then she gifted me another bag. 
so she gifted me this yellow one the case the yellow the way you like gifting me yellow stuff so she gifted me this yellow bag it comes with two straps it comes with this one um that is like what is it called woven woven strap and it comes with another long um strap inside your kawaii long strap inside okay don't feel like opening it so yeah those are the two bags those are the new bags that i got off to the shower it's been a while since i did a self-care um i really felt amazing after this by the way um so i'm starting with my hair of course and i'm using all the new cream of nature products that i showed you guys before so i'm shampooing my hair first then i apply the hair mask and let it sit as i shower it's supposed to sit for 10 to 15 minutes By now I know most of you get the gist of the process of my shower routine, you all know it by heart. So first I usually wash my face uh, with a bar soap and a face towel, then I go over my body with a face towel also and a bar soap, basically uh, mostly it's the Dove Beauty bar soap. Um, then I'll go over my body again with a uh, loofah and my choice of shower gel today is the Balea Buttermilk and Lemon one as usual. <laughs> I love this shower gel from the Maze German Cosmetic Shop. And then I usually use a loofah, I, use, I usually use a face towel first and then a loofah secondly. This um, helps prevent bacteria build up in my loofah. Otherwise you'll have to keep changing your loofah a lot. I still do change my loofah often but not as often as I would have if I didn't use a face towel first. So after that, um, I usually scrub my body, that's if I intend to shave. So I only scrub my upper body because I was just recently at Lux Nails Parlor, so I didn't need to scrub my legs. So I usually scrub um, my armpits to give me a clean shave, that's if I intend to shave. And then after shaving, I usually cleanse my entire body using the Dove uh, Body Cleanser. This one I got it from, I think, Skin Fuel. It's really, really nice, by the way so yeah basically that's my shower routine um, I know most of you just know it <laughs> so and it's self-explanatory I think you can clearly see the products that I'm using but I'll try and uh, list them in the description box down below So finally I'm rinsing out the hair mask then I apply the conditioner as I comb out any tangles.
so oh, my camera my battery is dying so the last thing i'm adding to my hair is a cream of nature pure honey um cream oil for the hair so it's the same as like the leave-in um since i've like air dried it a bit let me add this on top and then now i'm just going to let it sit my camera has died <laughs> can't even see it there so let me um my hair has dried dried a bit and i love the growth that is inside okay this part this hair like here i don't know what happened it's like something just pulled the hair out from here um let me not talk because this is the camera uh, when i use my phone is when you guys say you can't hear me so I need to clean up this piece. I'm doing a cleaning video next week, so it can survive till next week. He's asleep. Um, because I'm hearing the nanny outside. So let me just put this here and check up on him as I do my improves. next day finally the day he's here we made it to uhuru gardens for the boys to men concert i have so many things to say about this concert guys first of all uh thank you to everyone that i met this day thank you for saying hi um i really truly appreciate all of you i met so many of you this day by the way <laughs> so we went with all my sisters as you can see um the only thing okay the setup was amazing like for the lights and the speakers the sound and everything Thing. but um even the performances from salty soul and boys to men was awesome 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 the only thing that i didn't like about this concert was the seeting arrangement i mean for vip uh tickets our seats were not um as good as i expected and then they didn't have crowd control so basically uh i know i know people from the main arena made their way to the vip section so it was extremely crowded um at some point me and my sister and some of you i think two of you subscribers <laughs> you are behind me uh some of you we had to climb on top of our seats so that we could see the stage so guys left their seats and came uh, to stand like um near the stage so we were blocked at some point we couldn't see much so us being short uh five foot <laughs> uh tall we decided just to stand on top of the seats and just enjoy the concert because i mean we just paid fifteen thousand. um there's no way we were going to just live here just hearing people singing and we couldn't see them so basically it was an amazing concert uh, but there's a bit of an organization issue that they had they had an issue of controlling the crowd uh, from the line uh, of entering the uh, concert area it was just moving extremely slow and like i said again the sitting area i mean the guys who paid um 30,000 the guys who were at vvip and their sitting area they were behind us literally and i was wondering these guys are vvip and they're literally behind <laughs> where us we were seated as in it didn't make sense this entire setup for these guys but all in all we decided just to you know enjoy it um we've already paid we are here uh we had fun so it is sold brought their a game boys to men brought their a game um literally i woke up with no voice by the i'm even trying so hard to record this voice over so yeah this is it for this video guys thank you so much for watching and i'll talk to you guys in my next video